Greetings folks, in this video I'll show you how to fit the Aomway Commander V1 head tracker module to the goggles. The advanced version of these goggles come with a head tracker already installed, normal version that doesn't have it. First step is to remove the face mask and there's just one screw in the nose region that has to be undone. Then there's two screws underneath the goggles that you undo and pull them apart. You have to be very careful with all the ribbon cables that attach between the top and the bottom parts of the goggles. They are very delicate and uh, previously when I took the goggles apart I destroyed the DVR ribbon cable which I've had to replace. There's only one spot for the head tracker module to plug in that's on the right hand side of that board there in the middle you can see there's a spare slot and you just push that little black clamping bar out to the right then the ribbon cable from the head tracker module slots in blue color facing up and then you push the clamp to the left to clamp it in. Here's the head tracker module with the ribbon cable connected and next you have to fit it onto those two screw posts you can see in the top of the goggles there and there's only one way that it'll fit safely in there. Here it is in place with the screws inserted and check that you have this orientation it's pretty obvious because you can't fit it in any other way also in the package you get the cable that connects between the goggles and the transmitter that's a PS2 to 3.5 plug and you get two spare knobs as well which uh, I guess some goggles may come without the knobs here it is in action and you can see when you move the goggles the tilt servo moves up and down when you go side to side the pan servo goes side to side you can reverse the direction of movement using button pushes uh, which you can find on the video from Aonway that I've linked in the description. You can also switch between 360 degree brushless gimbal mode or 90 degree servo mode. 